What's up, fams? It's been a little bit, man. I miss y'all. I'm back. Uh, we're almost at 500 subscribers. And I'm pretty excited because I didn't, I didn't think I would get 100. Let me explain what we're going to do today. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to pull some uh, old Jimi uh, Hendrix uh, gig posters that we can maybe recreate into a merch item. I really like the style of these uh, posters that I pulled. I have the Bob Dylan one as reference for our composition. I do want to build like a silhouette of Jimmy as the hierarchy in the center and kind of build the text around it like that. The middle poster, I, I love the color on that, so I'm using that as like a color guide. Also for the first poster, the red poster, I like the simplicity of the like the stamp effect, like silhouette of his face and stuff is a little bit more rounded and not as crazy detailed. That's what I'm really going for. Almost like a blob, blobby brush, like a soft edge, rounded uh, uh, edges. This will be a fun project. It's not gonna be as intense. Really what we're trying to build is the silhouette of Jimmy and then the text around his head. And yeah, let's go. Let's jump right into it. I'm a little rusty. It's been two months since my last video. I know I suck, I suck. I gotta keep, keep it going. But almost at 500 subscribers, man. Let's get to a thousand. Uh, do I have to like give some shit away? Like, do I have to give stuff away or something just to get to a thousand? I swear, if we get close to a thousand, I'll give away three Wacom tablets if we get to a thousand. How about that? And I think that'll be kind of fun too, to get everybody involved and like excited. So, all right, let's stop talking. Let's get right into it. Let's start on Photoshop. Uh, I went on Google and like pulled this Jimmy image. Pretty simple dragged it right in. What I wanna do is give Jimmy this like stamp silhouette effect. Try to make it as simple as possible. There's a couple ways of doing this, but I have my like preference on how to make these stamp effects. Yeah, let me show you how I do it. Let's make sure our image is a smart object. And it is, it's a smart filter already. Make sure your swatch is on default black and white. Just hit D on your keyboard and it'll reset it. All right, so let's go to filter gallery. What you want to do is go under sketch, make sure it's on stamp. But what I like to do is add another layer to it. I like to make one stamped and the other one uh, green. So you go to that little drop down right there and then go to green and start just start messing with it. The, the values are going to be different depending on what photo you use. Really, there's no set value. I, I just like to play with it until I find something so i'm on the grain i'll go back and forth in between uh stamp and grain just to find something i'm comfortable with and this is what i mean about rounding it out a little bit more like you can get detailed depending on how, that your preference i like to be a little smoother like you can get really detailed but i like to bring up the smoothness on the stamp effect just to get a little bit more rounded edges but I th oh, that's perfect. That's good right there. Hit okay. Bam. Let's go. That looks great, 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 great. All right, all right, all right. The next step, what I like to do is still a little bit, like the edges are kind of like hard. So I, I like to smooth it out a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. And that's, uh, you stay on the uh, Jimi Hendrix layer. You want to go to uh, blur, Gaussian blur. Bring it up to a point where it's like the edges are like uh, fuzzy. Hit OK. Hit Command L to bring up your levels and bump up the black and then bump up the white until it gets like, until the edges get really like crispy. As you can see, or just kind of like meet the black and the white until your edges get a little bit sharper and then hit OK. And then this is what I, I'm looking for. Like it's a little bit more blobbier and like rounded. I want to hit save on that. And then what I want to do is go back to Illustrator. So go to file, place, and look for that Photoshop file that we just worked on on your computer and just place it on your Illustrator file. And now what you want to do is outline it and get rid of the white box. So image trace, let's go to the this little box right here, the image trace panel. What we want to do is ignore the white and then expand it and we good money. 
when you try to put color behind it. Yeah, it gets rid of all the white. So that's what we want. Color, I just want to pull my color real quick. There you go. Let me make a copy of this because because I like to save my steps in case I have to go back. Easy way to get rid of uh, some stuff. Hit Shift E. It'll bring up your eraser tool and just kind of like erase the pieces you don't want on there. And there you go. So I got Jimmy right here. Now I just want to add like some, some text around him. So let's work on that. Let's go to the side. Get rid of that. So I need some funky, cool like lettering cool type so I had some in mind all right Arnold is one that came off top Arnold Bachland another type that comes off top hobo hobo there's hobo standard and then there's hobo spelled h-o-b e-a-u-x that this might be too bold this might be a good type right here. So it's hobo. All right, we'll put this to the side. We might use these. How are we gonna do this? I kind of want this. I don't want this straightforward type. I want this, this to go around his head. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a little trick, All right? Let me move this over here so we get some more space to work. So let me type out my, my type. But, but, but a cool, fast way to, to get some type around Jimmy's head is using a blob brush. Yeah, using a blob brush. Shift B, your brush will come up and scale up your brush size. And this is a very weird way of doing it, but I found this to be very easy for me. And so what I'm doing, I'm just painting and Let's say I'm just painting in my words, right? So this will be the, and let me bring up the brush a little bit more. And this will be Jimmy. I'm just kind of estimating it. Not sure that this will be Hendrix. And this will be experience. Just trying to get the right composition around Jimmy. And you can fill in more, like a more of the area with the blob brush just to get the shape. Hitting B to bring up the brush again and then holding down option and just kind of hovering over the edges, clicking down, just like kind of click and dragging the edges, it softens it up. You see how like it's getting rid of some of the anchors? That's what you want to do, you want to simplify it. Again, it's a hit and B to bring up your brushes, holding down option and brushing the edges. All right, so now this is the fun part. So copy, let's just straighten this out. More of a horizontal landscape. Let me outline this, make sure all, everything is on caps. Yeah, everything's caps. Ungroup, group this word, every word separately. And it's kind of size it up a little bit. All right, so now you will select both and then go to object, go to uh, envelope distort, and then go to make with uh, top object. There you go. What it does is just masks the uh, word inside that shape you created. So now it's just adjusting. You bring it over here, scale it down. Now what you wanna do is just get rid of that original shape. There you go, boom. And just repeat this process. And what's cool about this is uh, you can still adjust the letters, the shape on this mask. Like you can like stretch it out. You can fit it into the space a little bit more. Just using the anchors, use the white arrow and click on the little nodes to just like drag and, and place it better. We can still mess with this a little bit more. Yeah, 
Yo, like that. Let's go. Cool, cool. There you go. And then maybe let's do this right here. Let's do this right here, yo. Oh my God. Let's use this right here as subtext. Let's just write it out. I like the fact that there's a date right here. So let's just bump the date up right here. Bang. Yeah. I like this. Yup. Bam, son. Come on, dude. All right. So now I got my text placed. Maybe we could bump it up so we can line it up a little bit better. Bam. This will make a dope tee. Maybe you give it like a little separation here. I don't know. Let's go back into Photoshop. Create a new file. Uh, 13 width, 16 height. Y'all should know that by now. 300 and RGB. Create. Bam. That's it. Give me that perp. So let's go back to Illustrator. Let me eye drop this perp right here. Copy the hex code. Copy. Go back to Photoshop. Open up your color there. Paste it. That's the purple you want. And I think that's a, a gilded purple like that. So let's go back. Yo, fam, hold up. Man. Is it orange? Maybe the body would need to be orange. Let me see. All right, let's do that. Yeah, that's like a safety orange, but let's see what it looks like. All right, now let's go into Illustrator. Grab Jimmy, Jimbo. I like to bring it in separately. So copy, paste. That's a smart object. Bring that bad boy in there. I'm going to need some, some space for my text. Let's open this file up a little bit more like that. Give some space. Go back into Illustrator. Grab all my text, copy, paste, boom. Let's bring it up. Yep. All right, let's bring this up. I have to open up the file a little bit. All right, there you go. Let me just bring in the text a little bit more. Now let's trim the file. Now we want to bring in the bottom part. So we'll just drag this down and grab all my subtext, copy, paste. So that looks right. Okay. Let's bring some of that color in, yo. Let's just screenshot this for color. So I want to eye drop everything. Yeah. Yo, the stars look official. I might add that. Let's just pop this in there first. All right. Here you go to color. So let's bring in some purple. I drop in the color from the poster. And then this. Go to type layer. Hit control and click on that layer. Go to blending options and give it a gradient overlay. Let me see where it's, where, gradient overlay. And then what I wanna do is, let me reset this first. Default. I wanna pluck these colors from here. So there's like a green and then there's a yellowish color. All right, let's just give it a stroke. Looks like a purple stroke. Let's go here. Give it that purple color, I drop it. Let's bring up the stroke on this. Whoa, wait. Oh, make sure that, make sure the blend mode is on normal. Y'all, y'all, mad vibes, dude. With purple, maybe? Or that blue? Yeah, 
That looks cool. Give it a stroke. Let's see how it looks. Boom, let's change the color on that. That the purple look official. What am I doing? I'm gonna stroke like that too. Play with the scale a little bit on Jimmy. I think this green needs to come up a little bit though. Let's make it a little bit more green. This could be a little thicker, this stroke, actually looking at it. Maybe this is, there's a drop shadow on it. Yo, what? Let's give some stars, man. See what's up. Bring it to photo, me Photoshop. Hit it with the quan, bam, son. All right, start the yellow. All right, so there go my stars right there. Add them in the corners. Let's, let's flip it. Transform, transform, edit, transform, flip horizontal. There you go. Oh, there you go, man. Let's probably add that some to the bottom right here. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. This is kind of, kind of dope. It's kind of dope, man. I ain't gonna front. Maybe the drop shadow should be like longer. So I just want to go to my uh, blending options again. Go to drop shadow. The distance, just bring the distance down. I mean, up a little bit. Okay, maybe I want to make the type a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. I think I got something. Let's mock it up. Let me trim the file. Now I want to like select all the layers and convert to a smart filter so it'll like flatten. The whole image is easy to CAD on the t-shirt. So let me go grab my CAD. So I went and grabbed the orange uh, Gildan t-shirt and now it's time to mock it up. So I'll just bring my artwork onto my t-shirt. Why oh, is it taking so long to place? Come on, Let's see what this looks like. Scale it down about it. Let's go. Let me know how y'all feel about this t-shirt. This. I think it looks kind of cool. I actually would like to see how it, it would look on a tie dye. Actually, let's try that right now, dude. Bam. Yeah, so there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash it, smack it, bang on it. This will help the YouTube algorithm uh, pick up my video. And subscribe, man, share with a friend. Talk to me, man. Hit me up on the comments. Let's get the 500. I'm thinking about giving away some Wacom tablets, three new Wacom tablets. So help me get to a thousand. I think this will be kind of fun. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. This is D-Boy and I'm gone.